It is everyone's responsibility to create a work environment that is sensitive to discrimination. Implementing the collective mission, gender democracy, anti-discrimination and participation means that we want to identify, reduce and eliminate disadvantages. It's only together that we can bring about this change. The collective mission affects all areas of the organization. Working culture, project and program planning, public relations and personnel matters, and concerns various dimensions of structural disadvantage. When planning events, we can take the collective mission into account. For example, by making sure that participants with different positions sit on the podium at events. We strive to use language that is sensitive to discrimination. The venue should be barrier-free. In our everyday work and in our teams, there is a need for sensitization and space for reflection. We need spaces where we can ask ourselves, what does diversity mean for us? How can I contribute to a coexistence that is sensitive to discrimination? Which structures and prejudices make my work more difficult? What do we want to change in our work culture? Reflection must lead to new action. It is important that we go about dealing with hierarchies and decision-making processes in a transparent manner. Conflicts and criticism are moments in which we can rise above ourselves. This way, we can implement the collective mission's themes in everyday work in the long term, at home and at the foreign offices, at all levels of the foundation. Varying dimensions of discrimination play a role in every society. Terms or how people refer to themselves differ according to national context. Many of our international offices already take this into account because the teams there are often already diverse. Staff members provide knowledge on topics such as inclusion, feminism or anti-racism. We can learn from this at headquarters. There, an interdepartmental working group discusses how the collective mission can be implemented. An internal training program serves to raise awareness and expand knowledge. A policy regulates how to deal with discrimination in the workplace and explains measures to prevent it. However, these are only initial sources of inspiration. Breaking up old structures does not happen overnight. Barriers need to be constantly dismantled at all hierarchical levels and in all offices worldwide. This requires diversity-conscious processes in staff selection, onboarding and development. These work best when we continuously and consistently incorporate our social positions and privileges. Because change is based on reflection and action. If we become aware of our voids, we can overcome them. Transformation is everyone's responsibility because it affects everyone. It has only just begun. Let's do it.